Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, homework from chapter four. This is number 10. And in this problem it says, uh, we have an airplane that a, the world's strongest man is trying to pull. And they give us the mass of the airplane, they give us the mass of the man, and they give us the coefficient of friction uh, between the shoes of the man and the runway. And they want to know what's the greatest acceleration that uh, the man can give the airplane. So the picture looks a little like this. We have an airplane. And it's got wheels on it. And they tell us those wheels are frictionless. And then we have a man that is going to pull on the airplane. So if we think about the forces involved here, what can we say about the forces on the plane? Some of the forces in the x direction is what? Tension in the wire. That's it. That's the only thing that's acting on the plane, other than the vertical direction, but that's just normal force is equal to the weight of the plane. And this is equal to the mass of the plane, let's make that a capital M, times the acceleration of the plane. What about the forces on the man? Well, we've got the sum of the forces in the x direction, which is equal to the friction that the person can apply minus the tension in the cord and that is equal to the mass of the man times the acceleration. We also have the sum of the forces in the y direction on the man is equal to the normal force up minus mg down is equal to zero. The man is not going up or down. All right, so at this point, we should be able to put this stuff together and solve it. We have this equation right here. That equation becomes what? Well, Fs we know is mu s times the normal force of the man minus tension, but we know what tension is from the first equation. It's m of the plane times a. Both of those add up to m a. So we're almost there, but we need what? We need the normal force on the man. Mu s times the normal force on the man. You see this, this last equation is just equal to m times g minus mass of the plane times the acceleration is equal to mass of the man times acceleration. And now I can put this stuff together. I do a little bit of math. And what do I find? I find that A is equal to mu s mg all over m plus mass of the plane. So let me give you the numbers that I had in my problem. I had 120,000 kilograms for the mass of the plane. I had 83 kilograms for the mass of the man. And mu s, the coefficient of friction in my problem, was 0 0.80. If you put all of those numbers into this equation for A, you should end up with 5.4 times 10 to the minus 3 meters per second squared. Give that a shot with your numbers, and uh, if you have any questions, come see me in office hours. Good luck.